Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media. I'm Grant Abbott and in this series we're creating a detailed game ready axe. In this video I'm going to talk about baking ambient occlusion maps and that will darken all the crevices which is really helpful for when we're painting and it will go from this across to this. If you like what you see here then check out the description for my website and playlist section of my channel for other free courses. Or you can follow the links to my character course where you can learn to make a full game ready detailed character from scratch. Okay, so here's where we got up to last time, and we've got this beautiful normal map here. But what we want to do is make some of these crevices a bit darker, because it seems a bit unnatural and really well lit at the moment. So we're going to use an ambient occlusion map for that. I'll go through cavity maps next time, which is slightly different. So in order to bake out an ambient occlusion map, we're going to need a new texture to bake onto. So the same way with the normal map, we created a new texture to bake onto there. We're doing the same for the ambient occlusion, and we will do the same for the cavity. Okay, so I create a new file. I'll call this AxeAO for ambient occlusion. I'll double my resolution and I'll turn off the alpha because we don't need transparency. Now what I haven't said before is that I'm using a relatively high resolution here and you might not use this in games, but it's always a good idea to bake your maps with a higher resolution and then later on reduce it if you need to, rather than start with a lower resolution and you have nowhere to go. So I'll create that new map here. So there's my AxeAO map and I need to put it in my Axe Low Poly material. So there's my normal map at the moment, and I'll press Control Spacebar to maximize this screen. So I need to bring in my Axe Ambient Occlusion image. So you can press Shift A, Add Image Texture, or you can just duplicate this one and change it up here to the Axe Ambient Occlusion. You can see my two tests there. <laughs> and remember, we've got to have that selected, so highlighted white. Okay, so we're ready for baking. Now what we need to do is bring back the High Poly. So I'll go up to that collection, Press in the viewport, but also make sure you press in the render as well, otherwise it won't work. And now we've got all the high poly objects available. I'll select the axe head first, and I'll just show you the material for it, so axe HP, and there's nothing special about it at all. And if I hold down control to select each of these, the axe head, handle, lower straps, and top straps, and as I click through these, each one becomes active by highlighting yellow, and you can see they all share this axe HP material. So I'll select the Axe Low Poly last, and there we go, it changes to the Axe Low Poly material because that's the active object. And there is my, if I zoom into it, Axe Ambient Occlusion map ready for baking. And it's selected. Okay, so let's go down to the bake panel. So it was on normal, we'll change that to Ambient Occlusion. And we don't need to change anything else because we've already done the normal map and it worked out really well, we know the distance is all nicely set up. So just double check, they've all got render enabled and you should be able to press bake. And we can see the baking happening down here. This will go through a few times because we've got several objects that we're baking from and I'll speed this up. Okay, and there we go, there's our ambient occlusion map. Let's maximize that on screen so we can take a look. So you can see all the crevices are darkened and that's a really nice map to use when we're texture painting and things like that because we can get all that high detail from the sculpt and we don't have to repaint it. So I'll press Control Spacebar to come out of that mode. Always make sure you go to Image, Save As, and there's my Axe Ambient Occlusion. So I'll save that. Now in order to hook this up properly, we'll need the cavity map as well. But for now, I'll just hook it in to the base color so you can see what it looks like. I'll hide my high poly, and we've got quite a nice looking ambient occlusion map there. And you can see the difference it makes if I press M, to mute, you can see suddenly it's got more life to it. Okay, so that's baking ambient occlusion maps. We'll move on to cavity maps, roughness maps, and painting in the next ones. If you've got any thoughts or ideas or questions, then comment below. And thanks once again for anybody that got this far, for watching the whole thing. Thanks for your support, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.